Before I get into the video, make sure you guys wash your hands before and after when you're dealing with food or anything else related to food. This is simply for your health and safety. Thank you. Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. It is me, Namira Thaneem here from Canada. Today we have another recipe sharing video that I love so much. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing a recipe from Hyderabad. This is a Hyderabad biryani recipe and it is very famous around the world. So I hope you enjoy this recipe and all the ingredients will be listed in the description box below as well, as well as the measurements. So you can check the description box below to get the correct measurements. Let's start. So the first thing we're going to do is get our bowl of rice. So like I said, the correct measurements will be in the description box below. So take your rice and soak it in a bowl of water for about 30 minutes. Now let's start with our ingredients. So before I started with the ingredients, I chopped my whole chicken into pieces. Now I'm going to pour it into my bowl. I'm not really sure what this is called, but let's just go with bowl because... I have no clue what it's called, but you can definitely comment down below what you know or think this is called. So I'm going to pour that in as well as my spices, masala, whichever one you want to call it. And I'm going to finally mix it thoroughly so the masala spreads everywhere evenly. Now I have my fresh homemade yogurt that my mom made and it is super, super delicious. I love it so much. So I think she added a cup in, but if you have to add more than it shows, you can definitely do that too. Now I'm going to pour in my oil and with oil, I'm gonna add in some freshly squeezed lemon juice. And now I'm going to pour in my freshly squeezed lemon juice. Make sure you don't add too much, otherwise your biryani will be sour and I do not like sour biryani. It is not good. Now, of course, the spice. The main thing about biryani, it has to be spicy. Previously, I added red chili powder. Now I'm adding green chilies. And with that, I'm adding some cilantro. Make sure you save some for the garnish on top at the end. It looks really nice. And I'm not really sure if it's at the end, but make sure you save some for the garnish. Now, of course, make sure you mix everything thoroughly so that everything spreads even. Now you can add your finely chopped onions. And now mix once again. Now set your mixture aside and let it marinate for about 10 to 30 minutes. Let's move on to the rice now. My mom added some spices, including some cinnamon. Cinnamon has to go into everything. I don't know how it adds flavor, but I do not like cinnamon besides cinnamon rolls. That's all I like. So anyways, let your water boil. And while it's boiling, make sure you pour in your soaked rice. Now before the rice is boiled, make sure you add some salt in as well. This is one teaspoon of salt. This is for some taste into the rice. So before you do this step, make sure you watch the rest of the video because this part is very important. Once your rice is done boiling, make sure you add it onto your chicken. This is half cooked rice. It is not fully cooked. So make sure you add this onto your chicken. Since this is Hyderabadi biryani, it is different from other biryanis. The chicken is raw chicken, it is not cooked. Now let your rice cook 15 minutes on high heat and 20 minutes on low heat. But before you do that, make sure you garnish it. Make it beautiful, decorate it with your cilantro that you saved from previously. Some colored water, cooked onions, and more that you can add it to. You can also add some oil on top. And voila, your biryani is ready to serve. When you serve this, make sure you serve this with bagar gabegan. That is eggplant curry and some yogurt as well. This is really good with both of those. And in fact, they do go 
with biryani so it tastes really good you should definitely try it this was really fun to make and share with you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel as well if you need any more information or have any questions about this biryani recipe comment it down below and i will be sure to reply thank you very much for watching and i love you all have a good day and bye guys